All right, coaches, so we're talking about short game. And once again, posture is always going to be super important. We've talked about that before. But one of the other things that kids tend to do, and because their posture is bad, is they tend to use their wrist to try to control the club so much more. So something as simple as putting a ball in between their forearms, having them grip the club, and just focus on moving the ball back to the right and then through to the left. So if it's here and I'm just gonna move the ball and not move my wrist, I'm gonna move the ball back and through. This is gonna make it a lot easier to make a good smooth putting stroke without using my wrist. Because if I just use my wrist like this, the ball is really not moving back and forth. So I'm gonna move the ball back, move the ball forward. Great way to get the kids to understand how to use their shoulders more to move it. Now, when we get into the chipping, it's gonna be very important. It's gonna be just like the putting, in terms of we're going back and through. The only difference is I'm gonna have my right foot a little closer to my left foot. My weight's gonna be more on my front foot. Hands are gonna be a little more forward, but once again, I'm moving this back and through. That's gonna help develop a lot of consistency in the chipping, better distance control. And once again, they can get the ball up and down and start shooting better scores. Um, if you teach them how to putt and chip, they always have a chance to beat somebody. So. Uh, have them working on this. This little key, this little drill is really key. And I don't care what you use. Um, I use anything from this to even a throw pillow, a snag ball, anything that you can get them just to focus on moving back and forth versus their hands. We're trying to move this part of the club, not this part of the club. If I focus on moving the handle back and through versus the club head, I'm going to be more successful and enjoy this game a lot more.